Oh, hello everybody. I'm back again. Uh, got another video for you. In this video, I'm going to try out a windshield cover to cover the windshield, the door window, and we'll, we'll work on the other side because, well, let me show you what I got. I got this thing. As you can see, what it is is a cover that goes across the windshield on like a Class B or Class C RV, which is basically a van, uh, or has a van front end, an RV on the back of it, or in my case, a school bus on the back of it, you know. And I ordered this off of Amazon. Now, if you were to try to get one of these, make sure you use the right part number. Um, I actually, at first, I put in the wrong part number. I put in the 2403, which gave me one for a Chevy from 1972 to 1996. Mine is a 98, so I needed to order the 2408. So, now I have the 2408. There you go. If you were wanting to order one for yours... Uh, there's the part numbers. It'll make it a little easier to look it up. And uh, I guess whatever that ad co or something like that. I don't know. What, whatever the name of that company is. It'll make it a little easier for you to look it up on Amazon if you wanted to. But I think this will be re really handy. But there is a big difference between or one major difference between a school bus and an RV, okay? A school bus has to have a way for the kids to come in and out of the side uh, other than a regular van door. A, a regular van door is too, a regular van door is too small for kids or adults, either one, to walk in and out of the bus. So, uh, I don't have a door on the passenger side of this bus. Well, I do, but it's a big, tall door. So, I don't have a door like this on that side. So, we're going to solve that problem using this same thing. Okay, first off, the way this goes on... is you open your door got a little strap right here that straps onto the top of the door right here you have a magnet here it's not a neodymium magnet it's just a probably a ceramic it's not super strong but it should be enough to hold that and now what you would normally do, you pull it over here and you would um, have to straighten everything out, get it pulled down so it covers the entire windshield. I don't know if the wipers are really supposed to go on the inside or outside, but I'm going to put them on the outside to help hold it down. And on this side over here, there's going to have to be some modifications because because of this being a bus instead of a van, it is still a van body. 
but it has a bus on the back of it. So, all right. Okay, so that is on there pretty much the way it needs to be. And let me show you, I have done some modification to this one because the other side had, oh, magnet slipped. The other side of this had the exact same thing as this on it. And like I said, there is no passenger side door on a bus. So what I did, let me show you. I have curtains that go on the inside of this window right here. But this one, this is a big window right here. You can see this is a big window that will let in a lot of light. So what I do, I've got magnets that I've actually taped on. I'll show you a detail of that in a minute. I had to cut out for this piece for the mirror there. And the magnets just stick on to the metal parts. This part down here is fiberglass. Can actually just tuck that in there. This is what I came up with to actually be able to use this windshield cover with the bus. And anybody that has a schoolie like this, uh, you might want to use, use the same method to have your custom window cover. It's custom now. I used duct tape to tape it together right here. And besides my sloppy cutting, all I did, this, this is only the piece that would have been coming back here. That's all this is. I cut it right here. And then I took this piece, moved it down, and taped it. Used Gorilla Tape. Because everybody knows that, duck, that gorillas are stronger than ducks. So um, I used Gorilla Tape instead of duct tape. Anyway, let me show you some details of this. Get you up a little closer here. All right. You can see there is a neodymium magnet that I have taped inside there. One that's taped in here, inside there. I use white duct tape or white Gorilla tape so that uh, it kind of blends in with the cover. Doesn't look as bad. Um, I just taped, this is the seam between the two. I probably need to get something and cut that. But see, I've got this magnet that sticks. See, this part here is fiberglass. So I can't stick it to that. I have to stick it to this back part, which this is steel where the door is. That's why I've got this one. There is a uh, neodymium magnet taped inside there. And it will hold it on. And I've got one down here that's taped. So it holds it on. All right, so now we have a custom windshield cover for a schoolie. Um, they don't make one that I know of. Uh, I've never seen one that anybody has manufactured. So if you want to cover your windshield in your schoolie and you uh, you want to buy one that you can just throw on there that's actually going to fit everything. Uh, you can get one, cut the end of it, add a couple of magnets, and tape it together or sew it together. If you're better with a sewing machine than I am, you can sew it together. The reason for a windshield cover like this one instead of one of these which actually just goes in the windshield like that 
This goes over the rear view mirror, which I don't have. Um, this, of course, goes on the inside. I'm just showing you. Okay, you notice there are gaps around that. So when that is put on the inside, you have air leaking around it and you also have sunlight leaking around it. These do help. They do cut down on the temperature a little bit. In fact, I will probably go ahead and be putting one of these on the inside while I'm camping just because this will be a little extra. Um, but the actual outside window, window cover works a lot better. Another little announcement that I have for my channel is I have merchandise now. Um, I have a store, an online store that you can go to. Um, I will put the link uh, either on the screen somewhere or it will be in, it'll definitely be in the description. I may even pin a comment at the top uh, showing the store, uh, the website. But okay. I have shirts, I have, uh, I'll do a little screenshot on the computer showing what all I have. I have shirts, I have hats, I even have little tote bags you can carry stuff in. I don't, the only thing I have gotten from them, because I wanted to test and see how I liked it, and I already got it dirty, but anyway, okay, there we go. Okay, I've only gotten one thing from them that I wanted to test out and see, you know, the quality of it. And that is this. I have hats, there are several colors on there. Um, it's, I think it's a pretty nice little hat. Um, it's just the snapback style with the vented top. Um, summertime hat, I guess, because it, it lets the air out. They do have wintertime ones on there or um, they do have the ones that are full cloth all the way around. Um, I may work the design into those too, but this is the only one I've got set up. I'm, I'm going to have more on there. I'm going to have more shirts. Actually, uh, if you remember this old shirt that I have on right now, this one is not on there. Uh, reason being, I wanted this one. I actually designed this on their website. I like this design. Okay, I sent this design in. And I was going to have a prototype made of it and sent, just like I did with the hat, I was going to have a prototype made and sent to me to see what it looked like. Okay. Uh, they sent me an email and they said they cannot print this shirt because it goes against their copyright laws. And what is the copyright problem? It is this right here right there there is a chevy sign on the front of old green and it says chevrolet across here and also there is one over here a chevy sign they said i cannot have a chevrolet logo on my shirt so i guess either i could take another picture of old green with without the emblem and maybe cover the letters somehow, or maybe blur them in editing. I'd have to take this emblem off too, or cover it. Um, that's just not going to look right. I could do it though. You know, I could, I could do that, and at least get old green on a shirt. I may do it. Uh, let me know what y'all think. If y'all would like a shirt like this, except with old green's emblems blocked out. Um, Anyway, if you don't care, go check out my store. I'm going to be adding more stuff. I'm going to have my book in there. I'm going to have some of the things that I have used to build my projects, like the water heater, the stove, um, the microwave, refrigerator, all that kind of stuff. The 
which I didn't get the microwave and refrigerator from Amazon. I got those at Walmart, but I can still put them up as Amazon links because Amazon has the same ones. Um, the inverter and the charge controller, the solar panels, I can put links to all that in my store. You can go to my store and uh, click on those links and they'll take you to Amazon to buy under my affiliate account, which I make a small, very small amount off of each purchase. But, you know, if you would like to help out the channel, that'd be a way to do it. Uh, also, just going and buying the merchandise that I have on, in my store, uh, that would help me out too, you know. It's a little bit of extra money for projects, uh, stuff like that. Okay, the engine started up because I have the thermostat starter system on. It is maintaining temperature inside the bus. Uh, it just does that automatically the way I've got it set up. So, um, well, I would say that's going to be about it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I got this windshield cover rigged up to where it will work on a bus and gives you privacy. It doesn't look too bad because it's, well, it kind of is made for it. I made it to be made for it. So you can do the same thing. Just one cut, tape it together, and there you go, it's done. All right, well, I guess that's going to about do it. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.